Hello there, my name is Dr. Ayelara and welcome to another video. Now, in today's video, we'll be talking about the myths around the coronavirus. Now, during the course of the pandemic, I'm sure most of you have heard and seen a lot of different things, which is true and which is false. That is all we're talking about today. I'm sure you must have seen a video like this one. To achieve the pandemic. Okay. Why pandemic? This fear is what it will create. The virus will be used to create fear. And with the fear, you'll be ready for the vaccine. Now, on this other side, Internet of Things, how do we achieve it? They're using military grade level of connectivity 5g so i'm not going to say anything about that because i believe in the right to free speech you have, you have a right to say what you want to say and i have a right to my own opinion live and let me now in today's video we'll be talking about the five main myths about the coronavirus especially in our environment and then i'll also be talking about the prevention of coronavirus what actually is the treatment modality that is accepted for the coronavirus at this point in time and then please stick with me to the end of the video because i'll be giving a bonus tip on the state of vaccines for the coronavirus so i'll see you guys in the next part The number one myth is chloroquine. Is chloroquine used for treatment of coronavirus or is it used for prevention of coronavirus? Now, the story matter is that at this point in time, there is no study of fact or clinical evidence backing up chloroquine for treatment or prevention of coronavirus. That is the fact. So, chloroquine is a drug that has been known to man for a very long time. It has been used historically for treatment of malaria and also for other autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis and SNE. However, it is not used in treatment or prevention of coronavirus. If you abuse chloroquine for prevention of coronavirus, what can happen is you can have a myriad of side effects that can lead to loss of hearing and even death. So, second on my list is carbon dioxide poisoning and oxygen deficiency in relation to masks. A lot of people believe that because you wear face mask, you are not taking in enough oxygen or a lot of you are not bringing out the CO2 in your body and then that builds up in your body and can cause damage. That is totally false. Okay? Carbon dioxide poisoning and oxygen deficiency are not related to uh, face, uh, face mask. That being said, Whenever you wear your face mask, don't let it fit, fit, fit too tight on your face. Give yourself enough room to breathe, okay? Everything is to be moderate in life. Now, the third myth is 5G, one virus, and coronavirus. What, what is the correlation? Now, 5G is a technology that has been developed by Huawei in China. The province in China where this technology was developed is Wuhan. Okay, 5G is suspected to be faster than 4G. We don't know about 5G right now. Okay, the coronavirus, the outbreak also started in Wuhan. That is the only link between the coronavirus and 5G technology. Coronavirus is not spread by 5G. This, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Okay, coronavirus is a virus. 5G is technology. There's no link. Okay, please. Coronavirus is not spread by 5G and there's no link. The only link is that they both originate from the same province in China, which is Wuhan. Now, some other people believe that Africa, coronavirus is not spreading very fast. We are immune because of our climate, because we are in a temperate region. That is false. Coronavirus spreads just as fast in temperate and also in cold regions. So our environment has nothing to do. The virus enters into our body, which maintains a rib, a a, a stable temperature of about 36.5 to 37 degrees irrespective of the temperature of our environment so the virus is going to let me use the word germinate irrespective of wherever you are in the world last one is age a lot of people believe that because they are young that they are immune to the coronavirus that is not true okay irrespective of age the coronavirus can affect anybody however 
depending on your age, the severity varies. For anybody that is older than 65, the coronavirus has a very high mortality rate. So you are likely to have a serious infection if you are older than 65. But it infects everybody. And let me tell you, there have been instances where young people, 30, 25, have actually died from the coronavirus. So don't say because you are young, you are immune to the coronavirus. That is false. Now, we have talked about the five ways. We talked about the myth of chloroquine. We talked about the Wuhan virus. We talked about Africa. We talked about age. And then we also talked about carbon dioxide poisoning and oxygen deficiency in relation to face masks. Now, moving on. The next thing on the agenda is what actually is acceptable treatment for coronavirus? Say I get coronavirus now, and how am I going to how will I be managed? Truth of the matter is that there is no approved drug as of right now for treatment of coronavirus. None of the antivirals are sure, not of non chloroquine, nothing. Okay, what we do is supportive treatment. Okay, the patient is dehydrated, we give fluids. The patient is having fever, you give someone to bring the fever down. The patient is breathing abnormally, you give mechanical ventilation to help the patient breathe. Whatever you can to support the patient until the virus is up to until the virus can like wear off and then you pray that the virus wears off and doesn't actually kill the patient so that is what we do that being said a lot of different centers are trying their hands at a lot of things this is a novel virus we don't really know what is what so a lot of different people try different things so you have you hear contrasting um, contrasting views somebody will come out and say i've used chloroquine and that's my patients someone will come out and say no 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 it is repavirine a lot of different things, a lot of different people will say different things because it's novel. Everybody just trying their hands at a lot of things and nothing is sure yet. So there's no actual treatment. But one thing we know for sure is that we can support the patients with fluids, um, antipyritics, that things to bring down your temperature, feeding, whatever you need to do to support the patient and hope that the virus leaves the patient alone. Now, prevention. There are three prevention modalities. You must have heard about this. It's in the news, in the papers, and everything. So let me just reiterate. Okay, you must make sure that you maintain social distances. One meter away from everybody at all times. Limit your limit your presence in big social gatherings, no parties and all that. Okay, ensure you wear your face mask, and then whenever you touch surfaces or wherever, make sure you wash your hand with uh, alcohol based uh, hand sanitizers, or you use soap and water, and then dry your hand with a damp or uh, towel. Now, lastly, let's talk about the bonus tip I talked about vaccines now vaccines brings a lot of political acclaim to coronavirus because just like during the world wars where everybody was looking for who first got created the atomic bomb everybody was looking for then the race to 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 outer space who first of all get to outer space the race between russia and china and um and um, america it's the same thing there's a lot of um i am the boss and the boss mentality in Race to produce the first vaccine okay, for coronavirus. That is one on the government end. Then the big farmers too, the big pharmaceutical companies are trying to cash out if I produce it first, I can make a lot of money. So there's that. So there's a lot of political acclaim to it. Governments trying to say, oh, I'm America, I want to produce the first the coronavirus vaccine in 2020 or 2021, something like that. Russia is trying to say, oh, yes, Russia, we produce the vaccine and all that. Now, the truth of the matter is that there have been, because of this, uh, everybody trying to be the first and everybody trying to cash out, there has been thousands of entries and vaccines being tested, but nothing is proven to work yet. Now, recently, China came out, uh, Russia came out, sorry, why do I keep calling China? Those guys haven't done anything to me. Now, Russia came out and said, oh, we have a vaccine that works and all that. But the vaccine has not gone through phase three clinical trials, which is actually a trial that can prove that the vaccine can be used in a large population. So it doesn't work yet, and I don't believe that it works yet, okay, because it has not completed its clinical trial phase. Okay. The, the name is Sputnik 5 or something like that. The Sputnik is the first um, first anything that moved from Earth to outer space and was produced by China during the race to, to, to get to outer space first. Then by Russia, why did I get to China? by Russia during the race to see who will get to outer space first. Okay? So they just named this coronavirus after that Sputnik. But the fact that everybody is trying to say, I got there first, I got there first. So no vaccine works for now. Nothing is sure. We don't know which vaccine works for now. Nothing. Just put your mind like that. And no vaccine works for now. No vaccine works for now. Okay? So that's basically everything I have for you guys today. 
Um, it's Friday here. I'm at work usually on Fridays. You try to have a nice time. And please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.